Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about adipose tissue with the learning objectives to know objective to know the types of adipose tissue, its function and histogenesis and with the following coverage. Okay, adipose tissue. As uh, we have mentioned last time, no, adipose tissue is known as a specialized connective tissue in which adipocytes or fat cells predominate okay they are found isolated or in small groups within loose or dense irregular connective tissue but occur in large aggregates or they are closely associated with other connective tissues no which contains your mga blood vessels mo and mga fib fibrous tissue adipose tissue okay they normally represents 15 to 20 percent of the body weight in men that is somewhat more in women. So remember, yung mga buttocks nila, yung breast nyo, uh, they are, these are fatty tissues actually. And remember the, sor the storage depot for neutral fats. Ito yung adipose tissue natin. So yung neutral fats natin include triacylglycerol or triglycerides and long chain fatty acid esters of glycerol. And they are the key regulator of overall body metabolism. Remember that yung fats natin they are very active metabolically okay okay yan see they are very active metabolically okay responding to both nervous and hormonal stimuli and uh, remember that adipose tissue is now recognized as an important endocrine tissue why because it secretes uh, a hormone, a 16 kilodalton poly polypeptide protein or polypeptide hormone known as your leptin. Leptin is also uh, known as a satiety factor. Ibig sabihin, busog ka na or satisfied ka na. Okay? So, it regulate, regulates the appetite of the person. Okay? Sometimes, pag may problema sa leptin metabolism, doon nagkakaroon ng... Um, uh, obesity, no? Sometimes they are linked to this to this hormone. Okay? Kasi, pag ibig sabihin may problema or may defect sa, sa leptin mo, hindi ka na makaka-feel na busog ka na. Okay? Hindi ka na sa satisfied. So, sira yung satiety factor mo. So, what you do is you eat more. Kasi, ano naman eh, defective yung leptin mo, ay hindi naman tayo nag, nasasabihan ng hormone na to. Hindi naman nasasabihan ng hormone na to ng uh, busog ka na. Okay? So, um, le leptin, yung target nito uh, is the hypothalamus and other organs. So, remember leptin, ha? Um, adipose tissue acts as a thermal insulation and it cushions and keeps organs safe. Remember yung mga high fat content. Yung mga high fat content, for example, yung sa perirenal fat natin, Okay, so they protect and they cushion the organs and act as shock absorbers and also protective itong adipose tissue, especially in mga blunt trauma. So, meron munang mag-absorb ng shock before the organs are uh, are eventually damaged, no? Okay, so sila yun, adipose tissue. Kaya mas, mas maganda yung mas malaki yung ano ba? In cases of blunt trauma, mas malaki yung abdominal fat mo, no? Kasi at least may protective, may cushion ka. So, masarap din i-cuddle daw yung mga, mga chubby, di ba? So, cushion, pwedeng higaan, okay? And there are two types of adipose tissue. We have the white adipose tissue and the brown adipose tissue. Okay, white adipose tissue. Actually, uh a misnomer itong white na ano na adipose tissue yung white na sinasabi kasi lahat ng gross uh, description or gross section ng adipose natin hindi man siya white it is uh, pale pale yellow na piyok tuloy <laughs> pale yellow or yellow in color okay so white adipose tissue they are actually spherical yung mga lip, uh, liposite or yung mga adipose cell adipocyte or yung fat cell natin they are spherical when isolated but are polyhedral when closely packed inside too so ito siya no so spherical siya ito yung fat cell natin now we have a huge droplet of lipid that fills the entire 
cell and it pushes the nucleus to the side uh, reminiscing a signet ring okay signet ring papasok mo dito yung daliri mo dyan. and almost all of adipose tissue uh, is considered as white adipose tissue kasi iba yung sa newborn okay or sa mga pediatric yung brown yun no? brown adipose tissue okay they are very large uh, around 50 to 150 micrometers so since isa lang talaga yung ano niya yung uh, yung lipid content niya or lipid droplet niya so hence it is also called or termed as unilocular okay so ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na when isolated kung isa lang they are spherical but they are closely associated or closely when they are closely packed they are polyhedral okay if you can see it here Hindi na siya, ano, parang napupush na siya, naging polyhedral na siya. So, remember that since lipids ito, and lipids are dissolved by solvents used during tissue processing. So, anong nangyayari is that the, the lipids are dissolved and they appear as empty spaces, such as this one. Okay? Yung mga darker dyan, yun yung mga blood vessels natin. And again, as I have said, ito yung gross cut surface ng pads natin uh, yellow siya no dilawan siya okay okay white adipose tissue <clears throat> so ito yung histologic sections natin okay white or unilocular um, adipose tissue okay isa lang unilocular and again they are closely associated with uh, dense okay dense irregular tissue okay dense irregular connective tissue and closely associated with your blood vessels ito this blood vessel blood vessel and yun na dissolve sila so they appear as polyhedral na hindi na siya spherical okay and then ito yung uh, blood vessel natin capillaries natin remember that important to capillaries natin or blood vessels kasi dito dito dumadalo yung mga ano natin mga lipoproteins tapos pag kailangan ng energy yun i ya ano lang yung uh, triglycerides noon so maging magre-release siya ng fatty ng fatty acids okay so as i have as, as i have said no uh, the lipid droplets are stain are dissolved during tissue processing so that's why we need special stains such as this one this is osmium tetroxide this will stain your lipids black okay usually kasi sa frozen section nun pag wala pa siya or hindi pa siya na dissolve or hindi siya tinutunaw sa sa ano tawag dito sa mga solvents natin may pretreatment siya so other stains other fat stains include sudan black no so this one this is a the adipose tissue from a young mammal okay as you can see ito yung mga asterisk ito yung mga uh, adipose adipocyte natin or yung mga fat cells natin that are still undergoing differentiation kasi remember meron pa siyang mga fat globules around hindi pa siya unilocular okay ito unilocular na yan and yung pointed dito ito ito yung ano yung nucleus so these are the cells or preadipocyte these are the cells undergoing pa differentiation okay so for the lipid storage and uh, mobilization so remember that the uh, the source of uh, storage storage form of your uh, fat is triglycerides okay so triglycerides are transported by blood and lymph from the intestines and liver through or in chylomicrons and BLDL. Remember that chylomicrons siya yung for the exogenous source of your triglycerides while your BLDL is the endogenous source of your uh, triglycerides. Okay? So, ito yung uh, so nakikerry sila sa blood, sa blood vessels. That's why kanina sabi ko na uh, adipocytes are closely associated with your capillaries because they are important in metabolism. So this uh, uh, this triglycerides carried in this lipoprotein. Okay, ano nangyayari? There is a lipoprotein lipase present in your capillaries 
and this one will broke will uh, will break down okay will break down the triglycerides releasing fatty acids free fatty acids which are then stored to become triglycerides again and stored as uh, fat uh, are stored as energy form in this uh, in this droplet okay so pag kailangan ng energy or hindi na kailangan ng energy is store siya as your triglyceride droplet here pag kailangan naman ng energy so we have uh, norepinephrine nerve endings here okay this will stimulate cyclic AMP which will further activate your hormone sensitive lipase present in your adipocytes and again yung lipase natin this will hydrolyze the stored triglycerides here to release your free fatty acids and then your free free fatty acids again okay this will diffuse in the capillaries and are carried in the uh, in the blood by albumin okay so yung albumin natin ito yung magta-transport throughout the body for use as an as an energy source so remember lipoprotein lipase is present in your capillaries while your hormone sensitive lipase is present in your adipocyte Okay, so, uh, saan ba nagde-develop yung white and brown fat? Again, uh, galing sila sa mesenchymal cells. Okay, so mesenchymal cells differentiate initially into pre-adipocytes. Okay, some of your mesenchymal cells can differentiate into fibroblasts. Remember, so mesenchymal cells, lahat ng mga part ng connective tissue. So, it can be derived from the mesenchymal cells. It's either fibroblasts or pre-adipocytes. So, remember, it still acquires the stellate, uh, the stellate features or the stellate uh, processes in the uh, mesenchymal cells. And again, pag nag-develop siya into pre-adipocyte, meron na siyang mga, mga lipid droplets that are numerous pa in the cytoplasm. Okay? And then eventually, it will differentiate further known as your differentiating adipocyte still uh, although wala na siyang hindi na siya stellate shaped or hindi na siya hindi na siya fusiform yung shape niya but rather it acquires a somewhat globular um, shape okay it's, it can either develop into a multilocular adipocyte or a unilocular adipocyte depending on the needs of the body this can uh the mature form of your adipocyte can differentiate further into a differentiating adipocyte which will become it's either a multilocular adipocyte depending on the needs of the body okay so yun from pre-adipocyte from mesenchymal cells to pre-adipocyte differentiating adipocyte can either be multilocular adipocyte or unilocular adipocyte this is the white this is the brown adipose tissue now we go to brown adipose tissue so remember brown adipose tissue again hindi talaga siya brown but rather darker in color no 2 to 5 percent of newborn so the they are usually present so back neck and shoulders of newborn and also they are scattered in adults such as the kidneys adrenals and mediastinum so pero majority of the adipose tissue in adults uh, it's composed of your white adipose tissue except these these areas here okay again they are brown or darker yellow in color due to both the very abundant mitochondria which contain cytochrome pigment scattered among lipid droplets of the fat cells and the large number of blood capillaries in this tissue okay so ano yan so mga uh, somehow it's a it's due to cytochrome pigment and the blood vessels nag nagpapas yung mga blood doon so some of the combination color will produce or will yield a darker uh, yellow color or yung brown okay so as there are many small lipid inclusions present in your brown adipose tissue they are termed as multilocular and again their main function the main function of your uh, brown adipose tissue is to produce heat by thermogenesis. Ano yung thermogenesis? Okay. Siyempre, production of heat. So, ito yung dahil sa thermogenin or uncoupling protein, UCP1, 
which uh, which produce heat by proton flow okay the energy generated during proton flow will produce heat or will, will dissipate heat and warms the blood okay hindi ka magji shiver no kasi shivering contraction of the muscle produces heat ito non shivering thermogenesis kasi uh, merong proton flow and ma dissipate lang yung heat and then it will warm the blood and therefore uh, ano yun mag ano ka there is thermogenesis okay for for the metabolism Okay, hindi man, man makikita yung mga newborn natin na nag-ano, di ba? Nagkirig-kirig pag tugnaw. Nag, nag ano yun, nag, para nag, nag-shiver yung panga. Okay? So, it derives from embryonic mesenchyme as I have uh, shown you earlier. So, it develops as adipocytes and they develop earlier than in white fat. Kasi, syempre, sila nga yung predominant or sila yung uh, nandun sa newborn. Eh. So, they are they occur earlier in white fat. Okay, so this is your brown fat. As you can see it here, ito yung blood vessels and adjacent white adipose tissue. Ito yung mga unilocular and this clump here is your brown adipocytes that are slightly smaller and characteristically contain ito yung bubbly. Pag, pag, pag tiningnan mo siya closer, so madami siyang mga globules or mga droplets and the central spherical nuclei okay so hindi pa siya napupush kasi madami bang ano yan madaming lipid droplets in the cytoplasm okay so parang bubbly siya no kasi pag na dissolve siya still meron pa ding meron pa ding uh, highlights kaya nakakita siya na parang parang uh, parang bubbly yung cytoplasm so ito yung Ito yung picture or cartoon, the diagram of a single multilocular adipocyte showing central nucleus and numerous lipid droplets, itong yellow and itong mga brown ito, ito yung mga mitochondria. So this is rich in mitochondria kasi important siya sa electron flow, sa proton flow natin during a non-shivering um, non thermogenesis, secondary to thermogenin. Okay, or UCP1. Okay, so that ends our lecture. Thank you.